Watcher everybody and welcome back to the Zoo Stars Unemulated Retro Game Channel. It is shit game time once again and it's Friday so uh, yeah what better way to start off the weekend another shit game time and this is Black Tiger on the Amiga 500. This has been requested by YouTuber Ray C and we're getting straight into it. Um, I'm just going to chop him up first and wait here and tell you a little bit about the game. Now I couldn't leave that on the title screen because it automatically goes into demo mode and um, I don't want to give too much away before I actually say what I feel about this fucking piece of crap. Now what I will say is oh, it's a US gold published game we gotta love it haven't we lads and lasses we gotta love them gotta love them and it was developed by Clipper never fucking heard of them Never heard of Clipper at all. I can't find anything else that they've published or created or developed in any way, shape or form. No idea. But the names are. It's coded by Graham Lilly or Lily. And it's the graphics are done by, or oh God knows what that says, Toman Emac, iMac, something like that. Whatever. Sorry if you're tuning in for pronouncing the names wrong. But if you are tuning in, I'm going to get a great sense of warmth and joy knowing I'm going to shit rate this pile of crap well where can i start look at that scrolling absolutely atrocious atrocious now i don't know how well it's coming out on youtube but i'm playing this on the original hardware and that is complete jerk 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 there's huge frames missing awful uh, what can I say about the samples? It's been sampled from the arcade very badly. And you can usually tell very bad samples of arcade sounds because they always have a click at the end of it. Gauntlet 2 is a prime example on the Amiga. If you ever played that, uh, you will notice that the sound, uh, the voices of that game has been sampled over to the Amiga, but every time it plays those samples, it clicks at the end. It's just cheap sampling. That's all there is to it. Um, it responds all right. You know, you can, there's not really much of a delay. I mean, there is a delay, but it does what you want it to do. Jump left, up right, move right, move left, fire, you know, it's all there. But it just looks like another cruddy Atari ST port. And I never got to play the arcade version back in the day. Never saw it, never got a first experience of it until I played it on main. And even I know, look, this is very Ghost and Goblins esque, isn't it? I mean, look at this. Um, even I know that it scrolled down sight better than this. This is bloody awful. Jump. Let's go down and get some more of that, whatever's in there. Oh, great, this killed me. No, that fire on the bloody walls killed me. I notice a lot of Capcom games have the same sort of colour palette they use. Um, very sort of browns and I don't know, you can always tell a Capcom game of the late 80s, these sort of games, they look the same. Pretty much. It makes you wonder if, if a different publisher would have got their rights on it. You know, what would Ocean have done with all these Capcom games? Couldn't have done any worse, surely. Um, yeah, I mean, if this whole game was done by just two guys, then, you know, okay. But even so, the punters are still expected to pay £20. And if I was paying £20, I'd expect better frame rate than this. And so the colours look completely washed out. Boy, go away, you. Oh, crying out loud. Yeah, not impressed at all. Let's just keep making our way across. There, shoot you. Well, some some enemies, uh, once you shoot them, welcome to the dungeon. Uh, they turn into you know, they turn into a booby trap. Welcome to the dungeon. 
I'm gonna die now, aren't I? Nope, okay. Get that, that's cool. What's that? Nothing, I don't know. Wait, where do you come from? Oh, f freak's sake. Oh, where am I now? Oh, okay, that was the dungeon, whatever, so I can't go back in there now. Let's jump over these. Come on, jump, that's it. Can you shoot that thing? Yes, you can. It doesn't have you got a time limit as well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go up. Uh, up again. But yeah, I just... I just wasn't expecting anything better. It's US gold of the late 80s. I mean, what, we were, what were we expecting? Not a fucking lot. Oh, why am I jumping that way for? They're bloody spikes, you muppet. Yeah, I can't... No, why am I jumping up there for? I don't want to jump up there. Can I jump on that platform? Of course I can. I was just on it just now. No, I'm not going that way. You killed me off last time. So I guess we've got to go back this way. Yeah, you can go... All right, let's go and get... No, I'm going to just... Oh, what's that? You're going to kill me, aren't you? Once I jump on... Oh! Come on, up, go. Get up there. Yeah, we'll have a look at the reviews in a minute. That's always interesting, isn't it? Okay, what's happened? Maybe I can... Oh, all right, you can buy weapons. Cool, it doesn't give you a lot of time, does it? Um, I can't really get much, can I? What's that? I don't know. Ah, uh, that as well. And maybe that. I, I don't know, whatever. So, okay, you can go into the shops. Oh, Capcom did so many of them, didn't they? So many games you can go into the shops and buy stuff. Um, I don't know. Can I go that way or are you going to kill me again? No, I'm back in the same place. Where am I going here? Must be another route. Yes. Okay. So what do I do now then? Oh, am I stuck here as well? Oh, I don't know where I'm going. This is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Back down here. Along there. And I'm going to die, aren't I? It wants me to go that way. I don't want to go. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh, okay. All right. It was a trap. So what have we got here then? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Die. It's so ghost and goblinsy. But the frame rate is fucking awful. Oh, I've done level one. It's awful. And some of the magazines were giving us high ratings. What are you turning that way for? Right. Let's see if I can... Can I just see if P... Pause. Ah, P does pause it. Excellent. Because I wanted to um, tell you some of the reviews, the ratings. Now, Amiga Action gave it 75%. <laughs> Amiga Computing gave it 68%. Amiga Format, 71 Amiga Joker, never heard of that, or bought that magazine, 49 That's more like it, 49%. CU Amiga, 73 I can't even read that one. It looks like a German mag. 7 out of 10. A magazine called Joystick gave it 80. You're on fucking drugs. Uh, another foreign magazine, which I can't pronounce, 52. The Games Machine gave it 84%. And even Zap gave it 63. Come on. This is where magazines were obviously losing their, um, their credibility, giving them such high ratings. And this is crap. It is crap. The, the frame rate is terrible. Absolutely awful. It's got ST port written all over it. Now, I've not played the ST version, so I don't know how much difference that is. But this can't be that different. This looks like a bloody ST port written all over it to me. Definitely. It's a key. Jump. It... I'll give it that. It jumps when you want it to. I think if Tear Ticks had their hands in this, it wouldn't. It would have failed miserably. Right, what 
we got up here then? Are you going to kill me? Oh, I've got treasure. Oh, I've got something. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I've gone in the hole. I knew it. I knew it. The moment I jumped. Continue. Uh, one more. One more continue. Let's jump here. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> Try again. Sit and then jump again. Oh, just missed it. It's ridiculous. Come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Jump. Jump. You gotta be so precise. Jump. Right, okay. Little tap, little tap. Jump. That's it. Right, get in there. Okay, I'm going to get a bloody... Someone's going to kill me now, isn't it? What have we got there? Okay. I don't quite know where I'm going. Oh. A nasty snake on that thingy, I better. That's it. Goodbye. What have I done here? Yeah, I've landed on the... That's good, that's good. So, the colours... The colours are pretty basic. They look washy to me. The animation is just laughable, really. The frame rate is terrible. Really is. For Amiga standards, this is slow. And it's a damn shame. Because I think it was a pretty good game in the arcade, wasn't it? Oh, got the shop. Thank you. I do. Please accept more time. Oh, he's giving me more time. Okay, thank you. Die. Okay. Let's get up there. Yes, I know. Poison. Oh, I just can't get over this frame rate. It's shocking. Absolutely shocking. 1990. Seriously. Oh, God, no, no, no. No, 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 I'm not going to bloody continue that. It's just... All right, okay, just for you lot. <clears throat> Can we take the pain for five more lives? A combination of my bad playing and the game itself. At least it lets it continue from where you die. That's something. One thing I can't fucking stand is games that put you right back. So at least... Unlike Ghosts and Goblins, this allows you to carry on from when you died. Right, oh. Get away. Right, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, oh, thank you. Well, it almost lets you carry on from when you died. Am I going the right way? Am I going back where I bloody started? I go back where I bloody started, aren't I? I'm losing track now. Come on. Up, up, and again. Yes, I've got to go there. And then round there. That's it. Right, let's try that again. Careful. No, don't jump there. Jump there. There we go. Oh, we've got more of these damn things. Ooh, they're going to crush me. Yeah, it's a shame the frame rate is so poor. It slows everything down. Die. Is that it? Level done. Yeah, um... No, it's not very good. Ray, is it? Let's be honest. It's not very good. Right. What do I want? 9,600. That must be a powerful weapon. What's that? That's probably some kind of... I don't know. Let's grab that one. Um, and some of that. 
That'll do. I don't know what hell I have selected, but there we go. Ooh, okay. My knives are more powerful now. Very bland backgrounds as well. Very bland. But it's it's the bloody the jerkiness of the scrolling. That's what I can't get over. I can't get past. It's just it's just so bad. It's so bad. I mean, this was 1990 for God's sake. Come on, bloody. Freaking Capcom games got raped, didn't they, by publishers? Completely ruined. Oh, hello. Welcome to the dungeon. Oh, what was that? It's a coin. Can kill it? Yes, no. Can. I can kill these, can't I? Yeah, kill them. No. Oh, I haven't got any keys. Bugger. I'm not sure if I can kill this thing. Alright, let's just try and go up, shall we? Oh, nailed me. I don't know where I've gone now. I'm lost. Oh, Matt Ray, I can't understand the bloody, um... The graphics, the, 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 the um... Scrolling, I just can't get over that. I've been there. Let's try and go down here. Quite right down there, but never mind. Screw it, let's go along. No, okay, all right. Yeah, um, it's not good, is it? Let's, let's be honest with you. It's, um, it's crap. It should have been so much smoother. The play area is tiny as well. Very tiny. Shit. Surrounded by a massive black border. Where am I going? Goodness me. Freaking hell. Go on, get up there. Stop mucking about. Right, okay, can I do that? Right, die. Is that it? One more life. <laughs> Spassy darts, that's golden, that's skeleton. Thing again, I don't really want to risk losing my life there. Keep moving, keep moving. Um, okay, keep going. Looks as if I just bloody... I've gone back round in a circle. That don't make any sense. I've just been round there. Jump, jump, jump. Ah, okay. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, fuck this, no. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, right. There you go, shit frame rate. That's exactly what it is. Awful. Um, yes, 1989 it came out in the arcade. 1990 it looks like it was released um, on the 8 bits and the, and the 16 bits. I don't know what the 8 bits are. I've never, never really... This game sort of went over my radar back in the day. I remember getting it as a crack copy 30 odd years ago and I wasn't impressed with it. But look at that scrolling. I mean, come on, lads. This is fucking awful, isn't it? That's terrible. Um, maybe leave your comments below and tell me if it really is an ST port. Because if this was written from scratch in Amiga code, proper, for a start, the frame, the bloody frame rate wouldn't be that slow. The screen would not be that small as well. It's tiny, tiny play area. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, awful. Um, I don't know how many of you are Black Tiger fans, but you can't be chuffed with this, surely, if you, if you had a warmth or fell in love with the actual arcade machine back in the day. Uh, as I said, I never saw it in the arcade, so they couldn't have been, must have been quite elusive in arcades. Um, yeah, I don't recall seeing this at all back in the day. But I'm kind of glad... I didn't, because if I did get into this game and I ended up with a conversion that was ran like this, I'd be so disappointed. Now, I know it's programmed by just two guys, fair enough, but again, that's not the point. You're releasing it to the public and asking for a £20 at least, maybe £24 price tag for it, and I couldn't justify it. I think that's pretty piss-poor uh, conversion. Could have been worse. Like I said, infamous tier techs could have got their hands on it, but it could have been so much better. Um, another crappy Capcom home port just they they're just endless aren't they they just keep coming absolutely crap so what am i going to give this on a shitter meter well the cons yep terrible frame rate horrible sampled um sound effects from the arcade very cheaply and badly done washed out colors no music um yeah, well, there's music on title page and that, but um, I don't think there's any music in the um, um, in the actual machine, even if you press buttons. I think uh, I don't think there's anything. But um, what else? It responds okay when you're doing your jumping and you're firing, but it's not enjoyable. Yeah. So with that in mind, Black Tiger on Amiga is going to get a fat stuck in the toilet pan I'm gonna give that 81 shit 81 shit on the shitometer for Black Tiger on the Amiga published a US gold developed by Clipper whoever the fuck they are as I said I can't see any other games that they've done under that name anyway terrible rubbish rubbish horrible on to the next shit game time, which will be next Friday, so please be sure to tune in for that. And, um, yes, I've got a, quite a good one coming up, I think. Uh, there's a certain game, I won't go into it that much, but um, put it this way, the programmers obviously designed it in a way where they didn't want you to complete the fucking thing. Hence why I had to ask the help of two uh, guys uh, that used to, obviously... I used to crack games back in the day and put the trainers on them and stuff like that. I had to go to their help to train this fucking game to get anywhere in it. But that will be revealed next week. There will also be a long play of that. Heavily cheats used um, just prior to that long, to that shit game time. So be sure to be tuned into my channel at some point next week. So you'll get the long play of it and then you'll get the shit game time of it. But I'm not going to tell you what the game is yet. So be, tuned. be sure to be tuned in to make sure you see what it is. And if any of you want to select a game for the shit game time, you should know what to do by now. A video a thumbnail will pop up in a moment. Just go to that, listen carefully, and name your game. Tell me what you would like to see banished into the vault of shitness forever and a big middle finger up to the programmers and everyone else that had anything to do with what you wanted was a good game and turned out to be absolutely cack. And you probably spent money on it and you're furious about it. Bring it to me, Judge Zeus, that's my job. Okay, once again, thanks very much for joining me on this edition of Shit Game Time. Black Tiger for the Amiga, well done, Ray. 
Nice choice, pretty crap game, and well done programmers and everyone else in it, and good old US goal, you never stop, do you? Absolutely crap. Crap, crap, crap. Until next time, Zeus, out of Plopsville. <laughs>